Hi YouTube, my name is Bernie and my channel is Bernie Tree 66 Thank you to everyone who subscribes to my channel. I really appreciate you guys. You really make it wonderful to make videos. I'm sorry I don't do it more often. My new goal is once a week, so hold me to it. Um, so today I'm going to talk about that time I went to jail. A lot of people have asked me about it and I just thought, hey, make a video, clear it up. So I bought a car from a family member, female family member. That's why I don't do business with women if I can help it. <laughs> At least not serious like, you know, business. I'll do business like holistic care, counseling, you know, female things. But I um, bought a car from a cousin. And instead of giving me the title, there's a lot of rigmarole about that. And then she takes the car out of her name and doesn't get me a registration sticker. So I got... Ticket after ticket after ticket, and I could not register this car in my name. I didn't have the title, and it was awful. So I got lots of tickets that I ignored. I was kind of into doing that. <laughs> I still have to fight the urge to like ignore important things. Um. So yeah, I didn't take care of them. That was my fault. And what happened was I got arrested because those tickets had turned into a warrant, which is something that happened in Texas. If you don't pay your tickets, they turn into warrants. <clears throat> so I uh, got arrested for it and got thrown in jail for 36 hours. And... Uh, my ex-boyfriend paid like a thousand dollars and I got out they gave me you know a bunch of like hey come on back take care of this and I didn't and so four years later I got in a whole different car that car was gone by then <laughs> so in a whole different car I got another registration ticket Meanwhile, all these four years, these tickets have been warrants. <clears throat> I would get notes about them. I would get pulled over and they would say, hey, you have warrants. We're not going to take you in for them. You really need to get those taken care of. So finally, I got a warrant in the town and now for a whole different car for the same thing. And those old tickets were there. And so... I just met an officer that just wasn't having it. He was new on the job, and he's like, I have to take you in. And I was like, all right, cool. It's going to be like last time where I just get in and I'm out, you know, sign something. Well, so he takes me to jail. And um, finally, when I see the judge the next morning, these are like those those warrants that you can't bond out of for some reason. Like, they have really got sick of my shit. So, <clears throat> yeah, they're like, gonna have to uh, sit here. And so I had the warrant for my city, and then I had the old warrants that were four years old for another city. And so they're like, well, Hearst is gonna come and pick you up. Maybe. You know, they've got 24 hours to do it. We're going to hold you here. And I'm like, all right, well, maybe they won't come and get me. You know, I only owe them $2,400. Maybe they won't come and get me. Well, they came and got me about 4 a.m. They showed up and drove my ass to Hearst, which is, you know, about 30 minutes away. They wanted their money. So um, Getting, like, booked in, all that stuff, it's really just, it's fascinating. It was just, it was a fascinating process. You take off your clothes, you put in this, fit in this uh, very comfortable jumpsuit. <laughs> They're like, you can't wear a bra. Like, really? <laughs> For nine days, no bra. 
awesome. I, I think I'm okay with this. And, um, yeah, so once I got thrown in there, I knew I was going to be in there. They can only hold you for 10 days for tickets. So, um, from what I understood, I was going to be in there those whole 10 days and then also have a money left over because you only get about a hundred bucks a day for being in there. So I would have still come out with a warrant, but things took a very nice turn for me. I, um, you know, I made trustee at maybe about the sixth day in. I made trustee and I managed to work off all of my my money that I owed, which was a lot. And um, I had to clean what some vomit, which was really easy. A officer came in. And um, they got me out of bed at like 3 in the morning. They're like, yeah, somebody's got bomb in your car. You get $300 knocked off of your tab. Let's go. You're the trustee. Let's go do it. So I go and I'm getting ready to clean up vomit. I've got gloves and I've got a rag. And I've got a good attitude because I was the best trustee they've ever had. And, um, yeah, this vomit is like clear, watery, like a watery thing substance that's hardly there at all so I wipe that up I'm just like I don't know I don't even see anything I'm wiping up the officer's car so I'm like bent over <clears throat> wiping up his car and he's like directly behind me watching me the whole time I thought that was interesting I'm like he really has to stand there okay so <clears throat> that was fun um another great thing that happened in there is that I got to take unlimited hot showers. I'm a big shower lover and so yeah you're in this like unit with a bunch of girls and that's my cat making noise of course and um, yeah you can just strip down and jump in a shower anytime you want. It was freaking cold in there so anytime I wanted to like warm up the room. I would just go take a hot shower. One time I steamed it up so bad they couldn't even see into our little dorm area because all the windows were steamed up. It was amazing. I took probably six, seven showers a day. They, they probably looked at their water bill after I left and was like, what the fuck? What the fuck happened? Because <laughs> I compulsively showered in there. The meals were Salisbury steaks from um, Hunger Man, Hungry Man, and I thought they were really delicious. Uh, I really grew to crave them after a while. I lost like nine pounds the whole time. I was in jail, by the way. Honey bun for breakfast with a sugary lemonade. A um, Hungry Man lunch, Hungry Man dinner. And I lost nine pounds. I happen to also enjoy working out. So I did work out in there. Did push-ups, wall stands, things like that. Which they thought was very unusual. <clears throat> Hold on. Alright. Had to let my cat, like, whatever. Anyway. So... Yeah, um, the people I was in there with were nice ladies. Um, stealing from Walmart was a big one. I was in there with mostly white women, um, probably just due to the area. Um, a lot of women were in there for domestic violence, which I thought was hilarious. Um, yeah, stealing, domestic violence. One lady was in there because she took some pain pills and drove. She was a doctor's wife, you know. So it was just, to me, what I learned in there is that the law really doesn't give a shit. They want their money. They, uh, you know, a cop on the beat is just going to take you in. doesn't matter what color you are. If you didn't uh, do the right thing, you might get thrown in jail. So, 
Um, as a trustee, like I really took pride in my job. So I didn't steal any food. I didn't let anybody um, try to con me out of things, even though they did. <laughs> but I didn't knowingly let them con me out of, you know, extra lemonades and towels and shit. But um, so I had just like a really high level of integrity. I was glad to be out of my cell. So when I had to do the laundry, I did it well. I cleaned the laundry machine up. If I had to mop the floor, I would do the corners. And I mean, the shit looked amazing when I got done. I uh, had to um, fold uniforms. They said it looked like a Dillard's in there. I'm like, mm. So <clears throat> by the time I left jail, they were so sweet to me. You know, they were walking me out and just, you know, just like, thank you so much for all the work you've done here. We've never had a trustee like you. That's, that's what I got. So I really kind of, you know, there was definitely miserable, but I think I had a pretty good time in jail. I think it was all the showers. I enjoyed the food, good exercise, talked to a bunch of women, watched TV, flipped channels. It wasn't that bad. And at the end of the day, I worked off that $2,400 in nine days. So it is what it is. The moral of the story is don't buy a car from a woman. <laughs> don't buy a car from your family members and take care of your business yeah if you've got a fine pay it yeah just pay it it's not gonna go away um and don't blame the officer for doing his job it's got to create you know uh generate revenue that's what they do go out get money from people and doesn't matter what color you are I really, really saw that when I was in there. It just doesn't matter. I don't give a shit about your story. Pay your bills. Pay your tickets. Don't go to jail. Thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate everyone who encourages me and who says, Hey, when's your next video coming out? So... Some of you want me to go see that movie, Black Panther. I hate movies. So if you want to motivate me to go see this movie, you want to donate five bucks, something like that, I will shout you out in my Black Panther review um, video. So if you do donate through PayPal and you wanted to go for the Black Panther experience, then uh, just, you know, put a line into your email paypal lets you do that make a comment so just let me know and i will definitely put your name in my next video so thank you so much for listening i hope you have a great night and a good weekend